does she really want to be th does the idea of being a wife and mother excite her right mm. what if she's already a mother like me i have two children i i wouldn't personally marry a woman who's already got kids oh you wouldn't oh you wouldn't oh you wouldn't no i wouldn't okay Wait, are, can i ask you i'm why? not saying i'm not saying that nobody should but i personally no, there's nothing not. wrong with that are everyone has their no, no they are children that i had prior to him mm. he don't watch the show <laughs> he watched he watched the show and he told me like oh they're gonna try to say something about your kids like don't let it trigger you it's why your ring off right now <laughs> my ring is off because he was not acting husband like so i'm not gonna be the fucking dummy running around here like hey look at my ring yeah, and let, you're let, slinging let, let, let's, let, let's let them work out their private yeah 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 my two children aren't his but i i my children's father is it's a, a successful person. Okay. So cool. can I? Can uh, it, it, who said can, can I, I? Okay. Can I, no, I have an interesting question. Mm -hmm. Can I ask? Uh, you don't have to answer this if it's too personal. How come you didn't marry the father of your children? Um, I didn't marry the father of my children because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't marry the father of my children because it just his lifestyle just was not he wasn't ready to settle down by any means like you know by the time i had the second kid you know clearly for him to have me have a second kid mm -hmm. i was under the impression that he was ready to settle down mm -hmm. but things didn't work out that way and it was just like a, a a cat and mouse game that i really got tired of you know what i'm saying and it's like i can't i have kids now mm -hmm. my kids are getting big now yeah so it's like if I stay with you and you're doing X, Y, and Z, what am I teaching my daughter? You know, mm. and then especially like you being her father, what are you teaching her? Mm -hmm. You I know, understand. so it was on a both mutual agreement. He felt like complete shit. He's like, I, mm. I don't want to do this to you guys. You know, I hear that. I hear yeah. that. Is your daughter's no, name Eliza? My daughter's name is Eliza. Yeah, you see, you see. Um, <laughs> yo, Chris, kill the Twitch stream yeah. and the Twitter stream. I'm going to give my take on this. It might be offensive. <laughs> I'm ready for you. I've been studying. I'm ready for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill fresh and fair. Yeah, and Twitch. How you're going to be the different levels of savagery here? Yeah, no, I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to be extremely polite about this. I've always said that it's not in your best interest as a man to commit to a girl that has children, and the reason for that, if you look at it from like, let's get the feelings aside from a like a strictly, I agree though, biological sense and risk assessment, it's very bad because you're marrying a woman woman you're taking on those kids as your own and the issue is that if she leaves you it's not only going to hurt because she left you but it's also going to hurt because you built attachments to those children mm -hmm. and the, the scary part is you have zero right to them because they're not biologically yours mm -hmm. right i mean hell kid, guys can barely get access to their own biological children let alone kids that they adopted from another man from another relationship so here's the thing if a man comes in marries you gives you security and provides that safe security to you and your children that are not his but he doesn't he doesn't take care of those kids whatsoever. I'm saying like, like I'm not like I, I'm not talking about my specific situation. Right? Okay, but no, I'm gonna say like, all right, when it comes time, like for example, my kids just went back to school, right? Yeah, I spent about seven hundred dollars school clothes shopping. Uh huh. God damn. On myself though. I'm not looking oh, for my okay, husband okay. to say, give me this. No, no, no. But here's the thing. For my kids, I know he provides something. If he's married to you, there's no way that he's not. As, uh, I mean, those we, kids we, somehow. we go half and half on my on our bills. Okay, but I'm mm -hmm. saying he's still providing a roof for those kids. He's still providing some type I mean, of we're going half. fatherhood energy. He's he's doing. He's still providing. Because here's the thing I'm trying to say: it's a luxury that he decided to step in and step up to your kids. When in reality, it's not to his benefit. That's that's but, the cold hard reality. It's not in a man's best but interest. Sometimes is let it, me finish. It's, it's not in a man's finish, best. It, it's not in a man's best interest to go ahead and take on stepchildren. It's not at all. Is that it's actually opens you up to a lot of liabilities. So my thing is, if, I, if a guy comes in, takes care of you, wipes you up, gives you the title, and he takes on your kids. And I know you say, well, I pay for my kids and I take care of them, whatever. He's still responsible. I'm sure he's probably very involved in those kids' lives to some degree because there's no way around it. You probably have, do you have primary custody of the kids? I mean, my kid's father is in the fed is in federal prison. So you have primary custody, which means there's no way around it. He's got to be around for those children. But you not guys really, together. though. Like, it, it, like, I'm just being completely honest. Like, my marriage... There's no way that he's not involved with those kids when he lives with you. Involved and you, as in like we're all in the same like house, yeah. house, but he's not like, you know, taking my kid to go play basketball and like go taking my kids to dance class and like dropping my kids off at school for me and picking them up for me. Or so what does he do? Like, 
my kids, I just choose to keep it separated. I'm there's I, I mean, we could say that, but there's no if you guys all live under the same house, there's no way that he's not involved in those children's like let's be realistic here. I'll tell you how. Right? This is my house. <laughs> this is my room. This is my children's room. He's here. You know what I'm saying? I cook dinner, he comes out and eats. He goes out and work. He comes back, he comes back here. He says hi, hello. I'm not saying he completely neglects my children. Mm. He may say hi, he may play around the house, you know? But as far as like a real, 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 like they, they know who, who their dad is. You know, their dad is very much so. Well, like I said, he still he's, contributes. He's, he's uh, you can say like, hey, you know, it's a half and half. He still contributes more than any other guy typically would want to. Most guys don't want to take on other kids. So all I'm saying is this. this. Thing, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it's a choice. Yeah, it's it's a Literally. choice, and and he put himself, he gave himself a disadvantage to give you an advantage. And well, the thing how, is, is how much am I disadvantaging myself for him in other aspects of life? What? What? What do you mean? What? 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 This is what I mean. What I say, like, bro, <laughs> yo. The thing is, I think, I think, yo, I think, man, like, it's wild, dude. Like, <laughs> guys, guys, and women make their make their decisions, right? So you know, if he's going into that situation, he knows what he's. He knows the deal. He knows what he's signing up for. So that's why I'm I say, disadvantaging like, myself when I this person is in in love with me, right? Uh -huh. I'm my kids are my kids. Sure. They're gonna be my kids until the day I die. Mm -hmm. This is my husband. Mm -hmm. He might not be my husband tomorrow. Okay. So at the end of the day, I'm disadvantaging myself and my children when I allow you mm -hmm. into my home, into my personal space. You know what? Finish, please what did he say? Oh. Let me finish. Oh, sure. Please finish. When I allow you into my home and my personal space, mm -hmm. and I'm a happy go lucky woman, right? Mm -hmm. But now here you are playing these games with me mentally and emotionally. Now I can't be the best version of myself. Mm -hmm. And I can't be the best version of myself for my children mm -hmm. or for myself as an individual because I have this person who I'm allowing. You know, and at the end of the day, I'm taking full accountability. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I'm a victim. He did this to me. I yeah. take, I take him, I took him back. You mm -hmm. know, so I'm disadvantaging myself by trying to make this marriage that I committed to work mm -hmm. and causing. I'm not gonna say a, a, a chaotic, but for lack of better terms, a chaotic environment for my children that will tell me in 10, 15, 20 years from now, Mom, why did you let this guy? You know, X, mm -hmm. Y, and Z. I'm disadvantaging myself as well. I'm a mother before anything. My children are going to have questions for me in the long run mm -hmm. that I'm going to have to face the music to. He might not even be around just being completely honest. So it's not just him disadvantaging himself. I'm disadvantaging myself as well because like he said, when we, when we leave, the guy has to, you know, break the relationship from the children. What does that do to my children as well? And I have to deal with the emotional baggage that comes with explaining to my children, look, he's just not in our lives anymore. To me, I mean, for me listening, it doesn't sound to me like you appreciate his contribution at all, bro. Like, like they, all I heard well, from I'm there not was... Gonna, I'm not going to go into the full depths of the situation because like, it's a it's a podcast yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah, really yeah, mad but, and I have real life shit. But you don't yeah. understand. I am, I'm not like... I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm the baddest bitch in the world and da -da 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 -da. But I know for a fact that there are men out there that would happily take care of me and my children. That's true. Okay? And I put my best foot forward. I don't ask this nigga for nothing. I pay three hundred dollars to get my hair done every two weeks, I pay for it. I get my nails done every two weeks, I pay for it. I go on shopping sprees, I pay for it. Six hundred dollar car note, I pay for it. Four hundred dollar insurance, I pay for it. I put in my half for the rent and many months I've paid the rent by myself. Okay, I'm a college graduate. I'm secure. I have almost 140k followers on the gram. Not saying that it matters, but I make money on Instagram at uh, promoting X, Y, and Z. I'm pursuing a rap career. I'm getting X amount of K views on my music. I'm fucking hustling. I'm going hard, kids and all. And I'm not saying that it's just love that's keeping me in this situation. But what I'm saying is that. There's a lot of emotions involved, and most people in my life who knows the in and outs say, Leger, what the fuck are you doing? So when I'm sitting on a podcast and someone's telling me, oh, you don't sound like you're appreciative for what he's contributing. 
You haven't said one thing about him that right. is positive whatsoever. You just talked about me, 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 me. This is what I, me, me, I, me, I me, do. Me, 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 because if but I had a lot of positive nothing. things to say about him, I would say a lot of positive things to say about him. Yeah. I would. Just just says that, 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 what that do you says want me lot. to tell you? That says a lot in itself. It does say a lot in itself, and that's why I said a lot of people in my life ask me, Leger, what are you doing? This is why, this why I'm like, I don't want to blow up this marriage on this yeah. podcast. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh man, look, look. All I'm gonna say is if my girl talked about me like that, yeah. I'll break up with her yeah. immediately, bro. She belongs to the streets.